Now that's all I have to say about that, but I have a whole lot to say about this. This. President Barack Obama, a man who flies around in private jets, escorted by military, which, you know, all presidents do. I don't have so much a problem with that. But he takes $7 million vacations, take vacations by himself, gives his wife private vacations, sends his kids on private vacations. They live in, you know, just the, the champagne, swilling, caviar dreams kind of lifestyle. But he has the audacity to tell people in Africa, which I'm pretty sure we can all agree is pretty hot, that they should not have air conditioning or motorized vehicles. If everybody's raising living standards to the point where everybody's got a car and everybody's got air conditioning and everybody's got a big house, uh, well, the planet will boil over unless we find new ways of producing energy. Yeah, that is definitely not orderly to me to see uh, this man says, you should not have what I have. You know, I have, you know, a nice big house and I have air conditioning and I have a, uh, a bulletproof, bombproof car that I ride around in. But you can't have that because I had it first. That's essentially what this man's saying. He's saying if we raise the standard of living. Not everybody can have the standard of living that we enjoy here in the States. Not everybody can have the standard of living that he enjoys, you know, because lo and behold, we all started to take $7 million vacations, then maybe he can't get his private golf courses and stuff. I just want people to see that and see this is, this is what this man is up to. Hope and change. No, yeah, you can hope and change for, that you get somebody else who will actually allow you to have a car and, and air conditioning in your house. Who was that guy who said you can't take a hot bath? What was that Prince? It was Prince somebody. Oh, yeah, that Prince right there. Prince Charles. There he is. There he is, uh, kissing up. You know, got his, uh, put his, yeah, scroll down to where the InfoWars is, and he's in that costume. Yeah, look at him. That guy saying that you should not have a hot bath, even though he dresses up like, uh, doesn't Michael Jackson, didn't he have a costume like that, Michael Jackson? It looks like a Michael Jackson costume to me, but uh, there you go. He says you should not have a hot bath, and President Obama says you should not have air conditioning. So these are the people uh, that you voted for, if you voted for him. Let's go now to our quote of the day. We'll end with this. If education is beaten by training, civilization dies. That by C.S. Lewis. Now stay tuned. We have two very special interviews after this. We have one with Raymond Teague, who is in the Air Force and also has ties to the Apollo missions. You don't want to miss that. And also Professor Griff in studio. He's here in Austin, so you don't want to miss that as well. But in the meantime, go to InfoWars.com. Go to the InfoWars shop. There it is right there. Pick up a copy of State of Mind at InfoWars Shop exclusively at the InfoWars Shop. So stay tuned right after this. We'll be back with Raymond Teague and also Professor Griff. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at InfoWars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show. The education our children is, are going to get has nothing to do with education. It is training uh, our children to be uh, resources, human resources, that's the way they refer to us, to spin off profits for the globalists. The greatest barrier to discovery is not ignorance, it's the illusion of knowledge and that's what the 15,000 hours in compulsory schooling really entrains in, in and conditions into us is that you've been told this story of the people in South America and so you think you know about it and it's not until later in life when you might come across more information about conquistadors and how Jesuits infiltrated all their religious systems and and took all the riches out and basically harvested this whole area and this is an example of plunder in South America that went on for hundreds of years so until you have this other piece of information to bring this into focus you think that what you're taught in public schooling during that 15,000 hours is really what's going on and it's not until you bump up to, against reality as George Orwell said on a, usually on a battlefield that you have to consider that which you were taught to believe versus the objective evidence that exists. John Taylor Gatto was an award-winning educator in New York who took kids that couldn't even read or write or headed for prison and made them top level students. And then he discovered that he was shut down by the big tax-free foundations so that he couldn't teach the children this information. And he discovered that it was by design that they were dumbing people down to make them subservient biological androids or replicants. That's what we're seen as. But now we're obsolete. We're to be phased out the new robotic systems, the 
drone aircraft, the drone submarines, the drone ships, the drone robots on the ground. We're all being conditioned, all being acclimated for this.